We will talk about kidney cysts. What are the kidney cysts? They are fluid filled sacs in the kidney or on the kidney. They are fluid filled sacs. They usually have no symptoms. Most kidney cysts have no symptoms. But some of them, in some cases, they can be very serious and they can cause kidney failure. That's why it's important to distinguish which kidney cysts are important and serious and can cause kidney failure, complete kidney, kidney failure, and which of them are just simple cysts which have no symptoms, which have no consequences, and person live with these cysts and he may never know about these cysts. Such cysts are called simple cysts. And simple cysts usually are diagnosed incidentally. When person goes for ultrasound, ultrasound check, and incidentally, doctor will find the cysts. And person has no symptoms. And such cysts are common after the age of 50. 50% of population, every second person after 50 will have such cysts. So it's kidney cysts are extremely common condition. Kidney cysts affects almost every second person after the age of 50. It means it's extremely common condition. And why it is called simple? Because its structure is simple. It means it well-defined cysts with fluid only. Nothing in the fluid. Nothing, nothing materials in the fluid. It's just fluid, clear fluid, without any uh, additional structures inside the cysts. That's why it is called simple. Um, usually, they have no symptoms. Most of such simple cysts have no symptoms. But sometimes, if cyst is large, if it compresses other structures of kidney, if it stretch the capsule of kidney, they can cause symptom. They can cause pain. They can rupture. They can cause infection. If the cyst is infected, it can cause fever. It can cause pain. If it ruptures, it's very painful. And what can we do at these cases? What is treatment? First and most important treatment is pain medication. Because in most cases, pain medication is enough. Even when cyst is ruptured, only observation and monitoring is enough sometimes and pain, pain man management because it will resolve itself in many cases. But sometimes, if the cyst is large enough and causes symptoms or causes pain or affects urine flow, then sclerotherapy uh, is required and sclerotherapy is drainage, drainage uh, cyst, drainage fluid from cyst and inject some alcohol-based solutions uh, to uh, harden these tissues and to prevent refilling of the cyst. It's clerotherapy. And sometimes, in rare cases, if other treatments fail, then surgery is required. Surgery is rare at this case. Now let's say about more serious condition, because in case of simple cysts, most patients will not have any symptoms and they will not have any signs of the cyst. So it's, it's not a problem in most cases. But if there is polycystic kidney disease, which is very serious condition, at this case, close monitoring, early diagnosis, and early treatment is crucial. And what it means and why it happens. It's genetic disease, and this... Um, small sacs are growing over time, kidney cysts are growing over time, they damage tissues, they causing 
interaction and uh, they affect kidney function and they cause kidney failure and complete kidney failure by the age of 50 or 60 and most patients with polycystic kidney disease will require uh, dialysis at the age of 50 or 60. It's, uh, it means that it's very serious condition, very serious condition. If, if patient requires dialysis at the age of 50, it means it's very serious condition. And um, what is symptoms of polycystic kidney disease? It has no symptoms. At early stages, it has no symptoms. For years, it has no symptoms. But when symptoms occur, it, uh, it causes back pain, side pain, blood in the urine, frequent urination, recurrent urinary tract infections. So they are symptoms of polycystic kidney disease if symptoms occur at all. And what is our main goal at this case? Main goal is to stop progression or slow down progression. It's impossible to complete stop progression, but possible slow down progression. And how we can do? We can manage complications. It's very important because polycystic kidney disease causes hypertension, high blood pressure, and we should monitor and management high blood pressure to slow down progression of polycystic kidney disease because high blood pressure further causes damage of kidney and it is vicious cycle. Polycystic kidney disease causes high blood pressure and high blood pressure damages kidney. So it's vicious cycle and we should cut this vicious cycle to manage hypertension. That's first step, manage hypertension. Second step, manage infections. If urinary tract infections occur, then requires manage infections to prevent further kidney damage. It's very important. So uh, our main goal is slow down progression and manage complications. And medication, tolwaptan, is effective. It suppresses vasopressin. Vasopressin is hormone which uh, vasopressin stimulates growing of these uh, sacs, of these cysts. So um, suppress inhibition of vasopressin is treatment of this uh, polycystic kidney disease. It's, it can importantly slow down the process. But uh, this medication is uh, toxic for liver, so it's not very safe. Uh, but if there is fast progressive disease, and person will start treatment at early stages, it's very effective, very effective treatment. Uh, Tolwaptan importantly slow down kidney damage, so it's very important treatment. And healthy weight, balanced diet, and regular physical exercise also helps to preserve normal kidney function. And now let's say how we can differentiate if it's polycystic um, kidney disease or if it's uh, simple cysts. Uh, it's easy to differentiate because when we have simple cysts, it's usually solitary or maybe two or few uh, simple cysts, but it's usually are solitary. But in case of polycystic kidney disease, we have multiple, multiple uh, cysts and we have enlarged kidney uh, or, or if we find two, at least two cysts on each kidney before the age of 30, so in young people. If you find multiple cysts in young people, there is very high probability that it's, multi, uh, it's polycystic kidney disease. So if you find cysts in young people, it means multi multiple cysts in young people in many cases it indicates polycystic uh, kidney disease and very important polycystic kidney disease is genetic it's highly genetic it means it's autosomal dominant inheritance what it means it means if parent has the disease child has 50 percent probability that he or she also will have this disease it's autosomal dominant inheritance 
very important because it's highly genetic. That's why if parent has polycystic kidney disease, kid, child should monitor uh, monitor its kidney functions very closely, whole life. Kidney functions and kidney structure and if required uh, intervention, you should. That's the best solution. If there is no information about parents, then genetic testing sometimes needed, but most commonly it's not required because we have classical thick pictures of um, uh, polycystic kidney disease in most cases. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.